In this video, I'm going to show you how to use All-in-One SEO's primary category to customize the breadcrumbs on your WordPress website. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins, and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the Account section, into your Download area, and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the Plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button, and then click Choose File, and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our All-in-One SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com account, Make sure you're on the Downloads tab, and then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our All-in-One SEO Pro License Key. And then we're going to paste the License Key into the License Key field, click Connect, and that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. All right, so now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the post section. I'm going to pull up this post called the best WordPress image compression plugins. And if we look on the right-hand side here underneath post and scroll down, get to categories. We can see this post is part of the web design category, but let's say I also want it to be part of the content marketing category. So if I select that, we'll notice what happens here is that now I get an option to select the primary category. If you don't select the primary category, what's going to happen is in your breadcrumbs, the first category that shows up alphabetically will appear. So in this case, content marketing would be the default category. But let's say we want the default category to be web design. This post is about finding the best WordPress image compression plugins. To me, that is more related to web design than it is to content marketing. In fact, it's also related to SEO. So I want all three of those categories, but in my breadcrumbs, I want this to show up underneath web design. So if you have all-in-one SEO installed, you will have this option to select a primary category, and I could select any one of those categories. So just for an example, I'm going to pick SEO first. I'm going to update this post, and then I'm going to pull the post up in the browser. And we can see our breadcrumbs, home, SEO, and then the best WordPress image compression plugin. So in my breadcrumbs, we're seeing SEO as the category, which is what I selected here, but that's not what I want for this page. What I want for this page is the primary category to be web design. So I'm going to change that to web design, click update. And if I go back to that page and hit refresh, we can see that now the category is web design. So this gives you control over how you want your breadcrumbs to appear and which category you want to appear as your primary category in those breadcrumbs, which of course can also help with your SEO. And in fact, All-in-One SEO will automatically add your primary category to the schema of this web page. So in this case, web design will be featured in the schema for this web page, communicating to Google that this page is about web design. It's also worth noting that you don't have to pull up your page and see it in the browser. You can also see your breadcrumbs right here as you're editing the page. If I change the primary category here to SEO, it will change here in the editor as well. The other thing that you can do now that you have a primary category set is you can use that primary category 
and your SEO titles and description. So if I scroll down past all the content on this page until I get to the all-in-one SEO settings section, if I look at what I have set up here for the post title, I have post title separator category title. That's good, but my post title is kind of long. So I'm going to wipe out post title and I'm just going to put in image compression. I'm going to write my own custom title. And then I have separator and then I have this category here. So this should now use my primary category, which is web design, when it constructs the SEO title of this page. So I'm going to go ahead and update that page. And then I'm going to refresh this page in my browser. And I'm just going to pull this tab down so you guys can see it. And then if I hover over that tab, we can see that the title is image compression, which is the custom title I typed in. The vertical bar is the separator. And then web design is my primary category. So it is pulling in the primary category that I selected and not the first one available alphabetically, which would have been content marketing. So that's how to use AIO SEO's primary category to customize the breadcrumbs on your WordPress website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to run an SEO analysis of your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.